Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Christopher with Plan Your Truth and in today's video we will be talking about my planner lineup for July of 2021. So this is what I plan to use for the rest of this year. I mean, we'll see how things go, um, but I have a lot of planners here to talk about. Some things are remaining the same from the first half of the year, but I just wanted to kind of do an update video of everything that I will be using. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. I'm just gonna push all of this off to the side. And I think let's start with the biggest one. So this is my memory happy planner. You have not seen it on this channel in a while, it's been a hot minute. Um, so these pages are super neutral. I love them a lot. I'll just show you kind of an example spread. So I just, I do photos, I do stickers, um, and I will at some point do a flip through because I have not filmed all of these videos, but I do stickers and photos and all things like that. However, um, work right now is crazy. So this is really falling behind and not only that, my weeks are like, I really don't have anything in my personal life going on right now. I just don't have a lot going on outside of work and that work is not necessarily what I want to, you know, remember about like my work events. So um, I'm not exactly sure exactly what I'm gonna do. I wanna continue using this somehow. I'm either going to just skip weeks that I don't really have anything to memory plan about. Maybe I'll do one spread per month. Um, maybe I'll just do a spread as something comes up. I, honestly, I'm not there yet, but I am gonna continue using this whenever I do have something worth um, you know, keeping track of. So this is a big happy planner and I will continue to use this for memory planning. All right, now I just wanna start with this cause it's right on top and I'm keeping this. This is actually my budget planner. It is a mini dashboard happy planner. It's part of the princess collection. Um, I don't mind that it has the princesses because I actually don't decorate this planner at all right now. I literally just on the days of the week write in exactly what I spent on this side and on like the monthly and this page, I keep track of um, my budget and things like, and bills and things like that. So this is my budget planner. It's working really nicely for me. Uh, let me know down in the comments. I haven't done a video in a couple months. I used to do one every month. Let me know if that's something you're interested in. I can definitely incorporate that back into my lineup, but this will be my budget planner. All right, next up, I have something new. This is a brand new planner. I've never used a classic, what a skinny classic, I think is what this is called. Uh, Jen with Chappie Plans gave this to me. It is so beautiful. It's totally my vibe, okay? The dividers, it's all the, um, I think it's like the sophisticated florals line, okay? And I love a couple things. One, I love that the days that it's like this. You know how the big planners or classic planners have it at the beginning? I love that this is in the month, so I'd love to figure out a way to use this. But then these pages are super neutral and super beautiful. You check out Jen's uh, channel. She does great. She, she just started using and doing plan with me's in them and I really love them. So I was like, Jen, I need to figure out a way to incorporate this. So I'm not fully decided how I'm using it yet. I have until the first of the year cause this or first of July or wait, actually, let me see. I have until June 28th. So I still have like a little bit of time while I'm filming this, but this is either gonna be, I think, my my main idea is on the go. That's how a lot of people use it. I just am not in a place where I need it on the go right now. So I'm thinking about this being like a creative journal. That's I think what I'm leaning towards right now. If you have any ideas or suggestions, leave them down in the comments, I'd love to hear. But I think that this could just be a fun place to play with stickers and journal about my day or, you know, answer questions or I don't know, something like that. I. I Planning with Bumble has a creative journal, and I think that this would be a good place to do that. So that's what I'm leaning towards using this for right now. But again, let me know if you have any ideas down in the comments. And also let me know if you'd like to see a plan with me in this. I think I'd like to take a couple weeks to like figure out the layout, but then I'd be happy to do a plan with me if you're interested. Next up, I'm going to show you, this is gonna stay the same. This is my catch-all planner. So this was part of the Disney collection. It goes through the end of the year. Um, I love the dividers and the pages, the monthly is not super neutral. There's just like the color at the top. It's not too bad. And the weekly are really very neutral. I do also have this planner that I do, you can see like this, this is the first half of the year. This is what's left. Everything else I have used um, because these planner guts are super neutral, especially the monthlies. 
super neutral. So I do sometimes kind of take pages out from here and Frankenplan them into this. Um, however, lately I haven't been doing that too often because this really is super neutral and I love just the little touch of Mickey. So this is gonna continue to be my uh, normal planner. Um, the monthly section I use for like a highlight of the day type thing. I may change that if that kind of is what this becomes, kind of like a journaling or highlight of the day or something like that. I may change this to go back to like my overall schedule, which would be really helpful for work. Like I can say when shows open, when cast arrives. So potentially I'll do that, uh, unconfirmed yet though. But that is how this planner is going to continue to be used. I'm both using both of these classic happy planners. Um, okay, I have two more spreads and, and planners to show you today. Um, first off, my wellness planner. This, this is actually the cover from a Happy Notes, but this is the Undated Teacher Extension Pack. I think it's the Rock This. It's from, this, this is the first cover. Yeah, I think it's the Rock This collection. Um, I love these pages super clean, super neutral, and this is working really well for wellness. I've done one or two plan with me's, but I post a, a picture every week on Instagram on Wednesdays usually. So I relabel these with different headings. And then across the top here, I have uh, Monday through Sunday. It works super well. I love doing it. Um, let me know if you'd like to see more plan with me's in this. I'm really getting the hang of decorating in this layout. So I'd be happy to do some more videos in this. But yeah, I love this planner for wellness. Um, and I'm going to keep using it exactly as I have been. I just started using this this month. So I haven't been doing it very long, but this will stay in my lineup. All right, the last thing I have to show you is my social media planner. I just got this planner. You'll know I took November out from, of next year and have been using it in June, but this planner officially starts in July. Super clean, super neutral, and I love the um, guts because this is all gray, so any spread that I want to do will match this. So this has been really lovely to have this. I use this for social media. Um, I'm still, you know, I don't use this planner a bunch. I mainly use these pages to map out the whole thing. And then I love decorating in this. So I, I this is one of the spreads I always film and upload each week on Tuesdays. Um, Cause I love, I just love decorating it. I've really gotten the hang of it. Um, and it's, it's just a great planner. The functionality is not fully there. I'm still kind of figuring out like this side of the page right now, I don't really use at all, except I track statistics. And then this side, I write what I'm posting each day. So, um, but this is a great layout for social media. I've really been enjoying it. I'm still figuring some things out, but I like it a lot. Um, but those are all of the different planners I'm using. The only other thing I want to talk to you about and kind of get your opinion on, I'm thinking about Franken planning these together, like all of my classic spreads. So it would be my catch all, my dashboard and my wellness. So I I'm thinking about combining these three layouts into one planner. Um, and I think I would use this cover. This is, it says plan your truth on it. It has little Mickeys everywhere. Really, you know, a pretty, pretty cover, pretty planner. Um, and I love that I, I have it on black discs. So whenever I'm doing a spread and put it back in my planner, it will always match. So let me know what you think about that. Um, if you do something like that, how many months do you combine? Do you do like three months together? Do you do six months together? Because obviously I couldn't put all three of these planners into this, like it would be too much, but uh, I'd love to hear your feedback on that. But I think I'm going to do that. Um, I just find like with when all these planners are just sitting on my desk, it's like too much. You know, there's so many pages here and I don't need all of that on my desk at all times. So I'm thinking about combining all my planners, um, at least from this layout. Obviously, I would keep these separate and same thing with my memory planner. This is going to be kept separate, of course, as well. But yeah, this is my lineup. Sorry for the glare. 
Um, but these are all the planners that I'm using. I would love to hear about your lineup. You can let me know down in the comments or let me know if you have a video that you're posting on your channel or on your Instagram. I'm always looking for new ideas and suggestions, but this is kind of where I'm going for July of 2021 and hopefully through the end of the year. As you can probably tell, Happy Planner is my brand of choice. Literally all of this is Happy Planner. I think in my video that I did in January, I tried to include one or two other brands and this is just what I've stuck with. You know, I, I love the Happy Planner so much. I'm sure you all can relate if you're watching this uh, video and this channel, but uh, I really appreciate all of you. This has been a great first couple of months on this YouTube channel. I do have some affiliate links down in the description box. I'd really appreciate it if you checked those out. But thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. If you want to see more of my videos, you can hit that subscribe button. And remember to plan your truth so that you can live your truth. Thanks so much.